YouTube is red. Violation is yellow. When my channel was suspended, my heart was hollow. But now that I got it back, let's make some mud and green. And now that we're back on track, uh, we made NFS Underground 2 Ray Tracing Mod Redux 2.0. And since it is very confusing to actually install, I'm pretty sure my channel is gonna get suspended again. So yeah, I decided to make a tutorial about it, a proper tutorial that you can follow and then actually install it and make your game to work. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. And here you can see all the files here. You can get these files from my website or my Patreon from where you can actually download these and get these files. Now, uh, to get started, firstly, we do need to install Reshade. So here we have Reshade set up. Let's double click on that, click our uh, game, browse, and we're going to go to our game folder. Let's go to game. And yeah, this is the underground too. Let's just rename that. We can rename it if you want to, but yeah, this is the underground 2 folder and let's click on setup.exe speed.exe and you just have to select DirectX 9 now I already done that so I do not need to do that as you can see it is already installed and once you install all the effects of reshade into your game the next step is to put our preset so in the preset folder you have these Let's go to our game folder and right click and paste. Now you can see that there are two INI files. One is Redux2 and the other one is Redux uh, RTGI. So one is without ray tracing global illumination. It does not require the RTGA shader and the other one does. And the RTGA shader is <clears throat> right now in beta condition. So which means it's not entirely out yet and the beta is only for patreon users so it's patreon only and it's made by pascal glitcher so rtga by pascal glitcher you need to download that from pascal glitcher's um patreon if you want to use the rtgi preset uh, i'm not going to show you because it's uh, patreon only but you just have to copy the shaders file and and paste them into uh, install the shaders here you have the shader folder and once you do this uh, you have to use widescreen fix now a lot of you guys already have widescreen fix but if you're new uh, you should know that NFS Underground 2 does not have a widescreen fix since it was a very old game in in the ancient times <coughs> that time screens were small and square I mean rectangular and square one by one so that's why they did not have widescreen resolution and if you want to use 4k or 1080p you just really have to use that uh, widescreen fix so you just have to copy this and paste them here as you can see I already have them so I'm not gonna bother replacing them and the next thing you have to do is use texture because now that we're we're done with lighting we need textures so in here you have textmod textmod.exe you can open it up you can copy it to your game folder or just extract it anywhere you like and click on the large folder icon click on browse and let's go to our game folder so in here select speed2.exe and then you have to select our texture now there are two textures one is that is made by KTMX it is overall texture which means uh, you have your, your road your uh, a lot of images and and you have your uh, buildings all the all those little details remastered and you also have uh, well, never mind so it is a overall texture mod and the other one is road by Dragozol the Zool that's his full name um, so to select our texture just click on the small folder icon click on browse and we're going to go to the folder where we have our texture file so 
paste let's select this one first and then we can select the other one the rope texture now here you have uh, arrow key up and down so let's just make sure that NS EG2 texture by Drugzool is on the top so when you set the priority on the top it works much better so keep that on the top and then click on run all right so our game is loaded up and as you can see we have a different load screen because the girl with big person girls doesn't seem to be too good or family friendly for everybody so yeah we had to remove it and make it more kid friendly and here we are our game is down down now a lot of you guys are gonna be confused unga bunga because um there are some settings that may be messed up especially for a few users in new reshade version that have problem and you can just actually fix that um <clears throat> so how do you fix it well um before we do that um your preset meaning the rtga preset and the redux preset will not show up so how do you get it work well click on the preset menu and uh, let's just scroll and uh, there we are we found a redux 2 and redux to rtgi you can just click on whichever you want to use i want to use redux dot uh, redux rtgi so yeah that's the one for me and here you have aid off you can just click on that to turn off depth of field in case if you love that but I'm not a big fan of it I've been I've been using glasses for a long time and I'm gonna say I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of blur but yeah and the next one is that if you have any graphical issue it could be anything but if you found anything is anything that is bothering you just go to DirectX 3d9 and enable copy depth buffer before clear operation all this it's always better to keep it turned on and that way it'll work even better and there it is we have rtx on in nfs underground 2 with high quality graphics it's bleeding edge and try not to play it on 4k for too long your pc is gonna bleed and that's the, that's really the first thing that's gonna bleed before the graphics so yeah thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next one